Anyway, way, let's get back into this. We have a message. Who's texting me? I got a new sticker pack. It looks just like me. Oh. It is you. I think this one looks more like you. That one. No way. <laughs> Do I look like that to you? I like the, uh, I like the, uh, art for those, honestly. Alright, let's do our next quest. I, I like bullying merch. It's funny. <laughs> Yo, wait, memory bubble. The memories. Aeon. Staring at the woman's surreal face concealed under her wide brim of her hood, you can hardly believe the bizarre story she has just told. Gods really exist, and they are elevated from mortals? Gods aren't almighty, but each holds different authorities and walks different roads. This is too ridiculous. She even claims to be some sort of emanator and mirror holder. The woman nods. It's normal for you to be confused. She speaks in a calm and cold tone, as if, as if you can see, she can see through you. Words. The woman then reaches underneath her silk cloak with her slender fingers and takes out a gleaming, sharp object. Dazzled by the glow, you try to take a closer look, only to be distracted again by the woman's voice. I offer you an accord. <laughs> it's Melina. <laughs> this is the mirror of transcendence. Look at them. Look at what the Aeon look like. The woman's voice remains frosty. You stare into the mirror and curiosity gets the better of you. Instead of your reflection, you see a magnificent sculpture. The sculpture shivers, shatters from top to bottom as if it's struck by lightning. It splits vertically into halves and the separated parts fall independently. The left part of the sculpture is a muscular man while the right part is a gorgeous woman. Each part has two arms extended toward each other. They support and uplift each other, but also hold a carving knife as each though, though they are crafting each other. Their twisting and tangled and intertwined bodies look like a spiral made of stone, yet they are joined together from their waists down. They are mesmerized and fascinated by their remarkably gorgeous and bizarre posture. Suddenly your gaze meets the eyes of the being in the mirror. Stunned, you quickly withdraw yourself from the extraordinary experience. So, this is your god, you mumble. No, this is what beauty is in its purest form looks like in your perception. The woman shakes her head as she strokes the cracked mirror from her hands. This is what they are. Interesting. Oh, it's this guy. Should I make it witty? Nah, maybe sen nay, maybe sentimental is better. Elegance? Well, I probably shouldn't use idioms in a poem. Should I use dark silk or white gown here? Mm, it's hurting my brain. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just writing a poem. Can't you see the drafts on the desk? Oh, your interruption reminds me. How come Leslie still hasn't replied to my letters after all those poems I sent her? Who is Leslie? Oh, Leslie is a prominent researcher in the Department of Insight, the only scholar who has visited the abundance segmentum of the, this amber era. You sure she has time for you? Of course she does! Ever since Leslie left, we've been communicating on and off through the Galaxy Airwave repeater. She will never ignore me even though we are tens of thousands of light years away. This is the only time she hasn't replied to me. I, I confessed my love to her in my last letter. I usually just talk to her about the types of rocks and mud we see in the galaxy of Ge Department of Galaxy Ge Gal Galactic Geography. I really can't read today. Oh my god. Brat. Show some respect to your own discipline, will you? I really don't understand why Leslie stopped answering me after I confessed my love to her. We used to chat about lots of things, which from which of the 101 Aeon instruments is, is in the Department of Insight require Gunn's beard to about how we use astro rods to examine the quality of soil, thus determining the rise and fall of the inhabitants of the planet. Who the hell talks about mud with a girl? Bro, you are very romantic. Ghosting you might be just her way of rejection. If this is romantic, then we had even more romantic discussions. During the communication where I confessed my love, she told me about a spectacular starquake. Think about it, a star died. Most people would try to hide, but not my Leslie. Not only did she get first-hand observation data, she even saved her ga a galaxy hitchhiker who almost died. I have no idea how happy she sounded in her reply. Even the airway for Peter's signal was cheerful. Whenever I receive a reply from her, I can't help but picture the smile on her face when I'd, I'd carve on under a rock. Before the Legion invasion, I had a bunch of rocks all lined up in a row on my desk. Unfortunately, they went missing in the chaos. Reckless romance. It's detrimental to your research. 
Anyway, there's no sign that she's going to reject me. If I don't receive her reply within her usual time frame, it means she m there must be something wrong with the Galaxy Airwave Repeater. In my investigation, I found out that a group of Legion monsters occupied the area where her signals are transmitted. You help me find out what happened. Let me find out what happened to the Airwave Repeater. My master wouldn't let me go. Don't help him. All he thinks about is the Airwave Repeater. He hasn't done any proper work for more than ten days. Shame on you. I'll help him. I gotta help out a homie. Nice. Don't listen to my master. If you have any, if you have the time to listen to him, you would have found the airwave repeater already. Listen, the airwave repeater is next to the disposal site. It's a massive warehouse for storing discarded curios. If you can resume our communications, I'll promise I reward. I'll reward you by inviting you to be our bridesmaid. All right, where are we headed? refresh my thing since I hit all the wrong buttons last time. Oh, no, this way. It's bad this way. Oh, I can interact with the screen. Something's flashing at the bottom right corner is a strange icon in the trash bar. Wait, is there something here if I keep clicking on this? I guess not. Investigate. Error. Abnormal root. Detachment protection activated. Detected ultra nickel parts missing. Ultra nickel parts. This error repeater is quite old. Luckily, it is right next to the disposal site where discarded cures are stored. Maybe I can find some spare parts. Good thing I have this place opened up. Items obtained. Ultra nickel part. Intricate parts dotted around the disposal site. Hardly anyone would notice these dated-looking, dull old things. Iron and nickel are gifts from the shooting star. An ultra nickel is something entirely different. Produced with mysterious methods, this super alloy, though outdated in the eyes of Herda, is patented and has no competition in the entire universe. No competition? You get one of these for 10 credits on the black market. They say you can use it to repair all the beacons in the universe. Very versatile. It's a fuse. It's just a fuse. I like the noise it makes when you run across the light bridges. I have to wonder how much energy it would take to actually create a solid light bridge. Please submit the required items. Airwave is online. The transmitting airwave has not been detected. If needed, please select the historical signal decoding record that you wish to review. Unknown light years exceeds detection blizzards. Recipient heard of space station Rocky Martinez. Another planet in the neighboring system there, but it's air is so refreshing. No signal decoding records found during this period. What happened? Well, silly, if you of course understand what you mean, as for my answer, record is damaged. End of historical record lookup. Airwave transmission has not been detected. How is the record damaged here? Stupid machine. Stupid. Stupid. Can identify. Can identify. Life form emotional fluctuation detected. Warning, you've entered the full surveillance area of the space station. Please do not conduct any inappropriate behavior towards the repeater. Airwave is offline. 
Key record is damaged. Full surveillance area. I better check the surveillance in the monitoring room. It looks like someone has done something to the repeater. I want to warp to the monitor room. There we go. Why the hell would it not let me do that? Hello, authentication passed. Please choose the surveillance area you want to review. Can't believe the surveillance camera captured Asta and two rarely seen, you know, rarely seen young researchers. But this is not the area I should be investigating. time captured by the camera, the safe zone in the reception, reception hall hasn't been set up. Curio Collection Squad is nowhere to be seen, only the wandering monsters of the Legion. Isn't that March 7th in Don Hong? It looked like they were in a hurry to do something. Forget it, the most important thing is to find the surveillance record of the repeater. Surveillance footage clearly shows that someone is trapped in the repulsion bridge. Injured researchers under medical treatment in the medical cabin. Found it at last. Camera only captured the image of a blurry figure from behind. It looks like Bernard? Now that I know who it is, let me confront him and find out the truth. It was Bernard who did it. The fiend. It's getting late. Where to now? Oh, hey, it's another bubble. Hang on. Betrayal. Is this Illidan? You scan the venue through a 160-degree wide angle lens with a diameter of 20 centimeters, thanks to the 46 marble pillars that support the dome ceiling with a diameter of 43 meters and a height of 138 meters. The colonnade is a hall 190 meters wide, 310 meters long, appears spacious. The actual number of attendees is 136 when it should be 138. 42 of them are on your left side, 44 on your right, 49 on your opposite end of the distance. While the last one is giving a speech on the stage below, not far away from you. Ladies and gentlemen, the person is speaking at a volume of about 45 decibels. Now we proudly present the latest product of the Aiden, Jacobson, Jaco Aiden Jacobin School of Mathematics and Science, the Pronto Expert System. A thunderous applause erupts from the audience. The speaker continues, Pronto is the first supercomputer with powerful artificial intelligence in our country. It features groundbreaking functions such as natural language and graphics processing, and emotional and behavior rec behavioral recognition and responses. The speaker's volume increases to 61 decibels, causing discomfort to your pressure-sensing membrane. As you have been trained to obey human instructions, you do not generate audio signals to express your subjective feelings to the crowd. In the coming Spindle 5 mission, Pronto will unprecedentedly pilot the research vessel as the sixth passenger. Speakers in high spirits. A cluster of disordered con intellect. Intel Disordered intel intelligent pulses passes through Area 42 of your silicon chip substrate and vanishes in Area 56. You know you are sick of the cliché. The unstable pulse is proof. At that moment, someone from the audience stands up. Pronto, the person, speaks in a tentative and questioning tone. You're assigned a very important role in the mission. Will your confidence be swayed by the amount of work? Disdainfully, you increase the voltage in Area 78, moving the shutter the, uh, shutter the solenoid valve with a click. Then you adjust the motor to move your mechanical arm to the correct angle. Let me answer you this way, sir. Your diaphragm creaks. The Pronto Expert System is the most reliable artificial intelligence in history. I've never had errors or produced distor distorted information, you say. I am genuinely impeccable and flawless. Sounds like the creation of Lieutenant Data from Star Trek. It's Bernard. I don't know what you're talking about. Young people should spend more time studying instead of wandering around. We got you on tape. Looks like you fixed the machine. Thanks to you, kids, I'm worried to death. I damaged the record for Rocky's own good. He's foregone his research because of that, Leslie. Not to mention. Not to mention you have no idea what's happening right now. Leslie. Leslie. Did something happen to her? No, she's safe and sound, and she said yes to Rocky's confession. But they can't be together. If you think I'm the one being difficult here, you're wrong. Don't get ahead of yourself. 
They can't be together. They will never be together. Do you know why? No, you don't. People really understand what a Starquake means. The proper protection of Starquake will not cause physical damage to humans. However, the gravitational collapse caused by a Starquake will severely change the space-time curvature of the segmentum. For example, the time in Leslie's segmentum was once a straight line like ours, but now it's been pressed into a huge canyon by gravity. Clearly, a curve is always longer than a straight line. Therefore, if the time curve of her segmentum is going to cover several times the length of uncovered in our timeline. Do we even know what that means? Well, if time will be different? It means the velocity of our time is different from hers. Since the starquake, the temporal difference between Leslie's and ours will gradually increase. It's possible that the time it takes for her reply to arrive will change from one month to a year, maybe even ten years. This isn't just about her message, but everything she does. Until she leaves the abnormal gravity environment, every month she spends in the galaxy will equal decades for us. Let's say if Rocky, including us, is living at a point, at a point called the present, and by comparison, Leslie, she is living in the future. I used to be a young man once. In my opinion, not being able to be with someone you love is even more cruel than being rejected. It's not up for you to decide. If you want to tell him the truth, then tell me. What can he do? Knowing the truth, Rocky will have to wait ten times longer for a message than sh that should have arrived right away. We would have to live this lonely presence and wait for the future containing Leslie to finally come to him. But how much time can he spend waiting? Maybe Leslie will finally return to the space station when he is old and decrepit like me. The flow of time for her is so slow, maybe at that time she will still be as young as she is today. When the time comes, how are they going to be together? We may transcend space, but time is beyond our reach. You are way too young, you don't understand. Things that require a lot of waiting don't usually end up well. I'll never give up if he doesn't know the truth. <laughs> Naive kids. At first I thought if I damaged the record, take away the parts, and blame everything on the monsters, I could keep Rocky in the hope that one day the repeater will be repaired. Now, since you have found out, the decision's up to you. I have two signal logs I copied from the repeater, red and blue. The red log contains Leslie's real reply, including the truth about the Starquake. To be honest, even I can't imagine what Rocky will do after finding out the truth, given how impulsive he is. The blue log is forged, in which Leslie refuses Rocky. Don't think about this as cruel this way. Rocky won't have to wait for her reply in the future. He can just move on with his life. Let's call these the red truth and the blue lie. It's up to you to decide which one you want to give him. The red pill and the blue pill. It's the fucking Matrix. Take the blue pill and forget this ever happened. We take the red pill and find out truly how deep the rabbit hole actually goes. Take them and give them some thought. Rocky is waiting your news. But we're giving him the red one, obviously. It would be cruel to give him the blue one. Better he knows the truth and make his own decision than tell them a lie and have it live in false ignorance. Smartwater raises their IQ. Oh, I collected his love poems. Bro, you're back. While you were away, I wrote another poem called Praise Leslie. You fixed the repeater? I see you're holding decoded backups. Now, which one's for me? The Red Truth. You seem hesitant. Are you sure the red one's for me? I am. Very certain it wants you to make sure you make the right decision here, huh? Yeah, thank you, bro. After some time. I can't believe it. Leslie said yes, but the Starquake. I can't get my head around this. So because of the gravitational effect on the Starquake, every month she spends in her time will be decades for me. Am I going to be as old as my master when she's back? Is my interpretation correct? Spexy, help me take a look. I'm a bit slow. Is that what she means? I think so. She's gone to the future, and I am left in the present. Is this what happened? The decades I spend thinking about her will only be a fleeting moment for her, right? Who would have thought that even time itself can be so unfair? I guess it's unrealistic to hope that she will come back. Even if she travels for months and crosses light years, I will have will become an old man in my time, spending my whole life waiting for someone enduring endless longing and loneliness. Crumber, do you really think I'm that naive? Of course I'm not going to wait for her. I won't. That's unexpected. I'm not going to wait for her. But I can go after her. I'm going to chase after time. Since her time-space curve has become a canyon, wouldn't it be better for me to travel past this canyon instead of waiting for her to come back? It will take me 10 years to find her, who has only spent a month. But once I do that, our time will be synchronized. It's better than sitting here and doing nothing. Don't you agree? No, no matter what you think, Spexy, I've decided I should inform my master as soon as possible, pack my things, and set off on my journey to find Leslie. I'm already tired of this place. As a member of the Herda Department of Galactic Geography, I haven't even seen the real galaxy. Isn't it embarrassing? 
I'm sure you're just as curious as I am about the scenery in deep space. Never crossed my mind, actually. At least for me, there are lonely wonders. The mysterious charm of danger and the person I am chasing after. When I find Leslie one day, I will come back and tell you everything I witnessed in my journey. By then, I will invite you to be our bridesmaid. Don't you forget it. Well, this poem's for you. Goodbye, my friend. Darkness is gathering in the distance using cruel methods. Dissect time petals inquiring for love or falling. Like the ticking chimes in infinite time and space, we have no choice. To slide into the slivering calamity, shivering calamities of the universe as if sliding down a slope into dusk. And with that, the stars continue their enjoyment above as their elegant smiles fill the way forward. Godspeed, you glorious bastard. <sighs> I wish Rocky Martinez luck. I hope he finds who he's looking for. What was that other circle? I found it. I saw another memory here, too. Hang on. What is this? Free time. Your eyes are bleary from sleep. The composite material of the bedroom's curtains effectively blocks out 99% of the light. Were not for your psychic tentacles, you would be hard-pressed to discern the structure of the space surrounding you with your eyes alone, even though you have been living here for since 50 years ago. It seems like the weather outside is quite gloomy. Thick, dark clouds hang low in the sky as they gather in royal. The temperature is low and you realize that it's already autumn. This kind of weather is perfect for sleeping. No wonder you slept so well. You leave your warm blankets and pull open the curtains, greeted by a landscape that matches what you, sen what you sensed. Looks like you are not old yet. You turn towards the aged TV and detect direct a psychic energy beam toward it. The TV lights up in response. The midday weather forecast is on. Starting at noon, the Deveron female in the TV says a sweet voice. Forecasts show that heavy metal rain snowfall will continue throughout most of the Kamote metropolitan area. Residents are advised to avoid outdoor activities as much as possible. Just yesterday, you learned at school that the surface temperature of the planet Kamote is extremely high. Heavy metal compounds undergo evaporation due to high temperatures, which cause causes them to rise in the troposphere. They then condensate and combine with inorganic acids in the atmosphere, after which they return to the surface in form of precipitation. Quietly reviewing this bit of newfound knowledge in your mind, you swell with satisfaction. Intelligent life forms always enjoy taking pride in knowing obscure trivia that others don't. The corners of your mouth rise up as you turn to go to the kitchen. You make yourself a cup of hot cocoa, the drink of choice for this kind of weather. What could possibly be better than enjoying hot cocoa while snuggled up in a nice thick blanket and streaming a drama you enjoy as a heavy metal snows down? That's exactly what you do, you say to yourself. The brown liquid in your mug is piping hot. Your psychic tentacles lazily flop down in your head. The sweet flavor and the comfy warmth of it flood your body as the cocoa enters your stomach. You feel relaxed and direct a psychic energy beam towards your desktop computer. All these shows look pretty good. LeBlanc, the meteor thief, breaking good, breaking good, Dr. Flat. Thank the stars for your interstellar peace model. Curl up in an adaptive chair and cover yourself in a fleecy blanket. As a nice warm cup of hot cocoa in your hands, your free time has truly begun. Outside the window, snowflakes gently gently fall from the sky. They give off a fluorescent glow as, the dri as they drift wherever the wind takes them. That no longer has anything to do with you. These are fun. I like these. Space plant. 